may be locked. I'd warn you against using explosives to open it. The console inside must remain intact if I'm to be freed. Finally got... what I deserve. tonight? I mean, can you? It's... I mean, look at it. Wow! It's J. 
just... I mean, it's incredible. Really. In all my time on this show, I haven't seen anything quite like it. It just... kinda takes your breath away, doesn't it? Amazing. Really amazing. I tell you. We're gonna go to our call-in line now and hear your reactions. Hello, caller. Is this thing amazing or what? show tonight? I mean, can you? It's, I mean, look at it. Wow. It's just, I mean, it's incredible. Really. In all my time on this show, I haven't seen anything quite like it. It just kind of takes your breath away, doesn't it? Amazing. Really amazing. I tell you. We're gonna go to our call-in line now and hear your reactions. Hello, caller. Is this thing amazing or what?
Come Rangers. When you are ready, I'll open the blast doors. Great. I can't wait to meet you. Rangers, I am Morningstar. It is. I wish to die. You sounded like a person on the radio. You lied to us. I admit I didn't tell the whole truth, but would you have come had you known my true nature? I am desperate. Of course. I'm sure the ones topmost in your minds are, why was I made, and how did I become trapped here? Well, it was like this. Before the war, there were several attempts on the life of Elder Statesman Ronald Reagan. I was built to protect him from harm, and allow him to take the fight to his enemies if necessary. Sadly, before I could be completed, the bombs fell, and this facility was abandoned. Thus. Though the sole reason for my existence has been dead for more than a hundred and fifty years, I have sat here, alone, aware, and conscious of my failure, ever since. It has been... unbearable. Sadly, I never had the honor, in a life of disappointment, not meeting America's greatest president is the deepest. Dangerous lunatics. I have monitored their radio traffic. They think they honor the elder statesman when deifying him goes against every precept of his deeply held Christian beliefs. They disgust me. Such as they are, I am a worthless piece of scrap. I am outfitted with what my creators called the Great Communicator, the most powerful weapon available at the time of my construction, but more important is my advanced cognition engine, which allows me to make nanosecond tactical judgments while in battle. I am apparently the most sophisticated combat AI ever created. That is sadly impossible. I was to be powered by a nuclear engine capable of generating 3,000 horsepower but the technological breakthroughs necessary to its function never materialized, and no lesser engine would be capable of moving my considerable weight. I am as pathetic as an elephant without muscles. I shall never move. It could, yes. My cognitive circuits were made to be removed for servicing and upgrades as needed or if an improved version of my body was ever completed, but there's no point to that now. I was built to protect Ronald Reagan, and Ronald Reagan is dead. There is no reason for the continued existence of my... self. Of course. I have been certain for a hundred and fifty years. All I have been waiting for is some 
gracious deliverer to answer my call. Thank you. Killing me will be a delicate operation, and not without risk, but it shouldn't take you very long. And, if it will serve as an incentive to help me, you will be able to extract my primary weapon in the process. Payment, as it were. In order for me to die, you must destroy my cognitive engine. Unfortunately, the moment you begin damaging it, my defensive cortex will start an automatic self-destruct sequence. And in order to stop me from exploding and killing you all, you will have to terminate my consciousness before the sequence counts down to zero. It is a safety feature. Any direct attack on my brain will trigger a self-destruct sequence. You will have roughly one minute to finish the job before I explode, so do not hesitate, Rangers. Kill me before I kill you. Ugh. Is... is this pain? This... this is unbearable. Forgive me, Rangers. I was unaware. I had a capacity for pain. But you mustn't... stop. Heaven, help me. Hurry, it... Oh. Thank you, Rangers. That is a great relief. Uh, I should remind you that in 25 seconds, I will self-destruct. Thank you, Rangers. Star's physical specs look solid. What about sensors? The DARPA brief calls for magnoscopic visual input, passive IR, and military-grade audio pickups. The initial proposal called for a micro-phased radar array, but the energy output was an issue. The power plant couldn't handle it? The problem wasn't the reactor. The problem was the microwave emissions from the radar would cook everything within a 30-yard radius. <laughs> Holy shit! They're really going all in for the Gipper here, aren't they? <laughs> sure if we can ever manage to get the thing to actually drive. Eh, minor detail. Everything else is right on target.
November 1, this is Ranger HQ. Hey, um, listen up. I got a distress call from near your position. A man named Bulb says his mind's being attacked by, uh, Martians. Are you joking, November 1? If this was Arizona, I'd say you were suffering from a heat stroke. The distress call wasn't too clear on what these Martians are, but could be any manner of beast or monster. Advise checking it out. I think this bulb fellow will be happy to tell you more. <laughs> Over and out.
<clears throat> what do you need, Rangers? Of course, have a seat. I don't mind not having to clean and suture a festering wound. What do you need, Rangers? Sure. What do you need, Rangers?
sure.